Rocky, somebody's mute. If you get mad, they'll take their shoe, their baby, they'll throw it at you. They're going to start fighting. And then we got to stop our show to watch your show. Because we're not Disney. We like that stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, so we're going to pass the everything over to my friend Logan. I want to give my friend Logan a huge round of applause. All right, thank you, Ernie. All right, guys, let's get this start off the Gatorland way with a great big howdy. Alligator Wrangling Show. Now before we get into the crazy stuff, I'm going to tell y'all how Gator Wrangling all came to be, okay? You see, alligators have been stopping around this earth for nearly 200 million years, outliving the dinosaurs, which means, guys, they're going to be here for a heck of a lot longer than us. Now the first people started interacting with these guys were the Seminoles back in the 1700s. It was them who were wrangling and tangling with these creatures on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, after the Seminoles came the settlers, or cowboys. You see, with the cowboys, they brought their cattle, and that's where our problem lies. You see, alligators started developing a big appetite for cattle. And the settlers had a lot of cattle moving on this big state of ours. Now, to make sure they keep their cattle in line and not go down those water holes and get eaten, they started using something called a cow whip or a bull whip. Now, they wouldn't hit the cattle or anything like that, but they would make a nice little crack right above their head, or right below their feet, to make sure they keep their cattle in line. After a while, though, the cattle started getting used to the sound of that cow whip or bull whip. So the settlers had to come up with another way or technique to make sure they keep their livestock safe. That's when they started using and adopting the techniques the Seminoles used to use from back in the day. What they would actually do is they would go into those watering holes, they'd pull out those American alligators by their tails, they'd wrap them up with rope, and they'd let themselves and their cattle go down to get a drink of water. Now after they were done, they would release the alligator back into the water. That technique was not only safe, guys, for the cattle and the settlers, but more importantly, guys, it was safe for the American alligator. Now, unfortunately, though, some people started catching on to that specific technique and started poaching these guys. And by the 1950s, the American alligator was put on the endangered species list. But thankfully, guys, due to great conservation efforts like Gaberland Global, they were taken off that list by the 1980s, and now we have almost 2 million alligators living in this state alone. Pretty crazy, right? And we have to learn how to share and coexist in this great, big, beautiful state of ours. And that's what we're just going to show you guys today, okay? The end. No, listen, I get it, I get it. You don't need, you don't need to clap. Listen, I know y'all didn't come out here for some boring history lesson. Y'all want to see the crazy stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, come on, y'all want to see the wild stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, no, I bet y'all want to see me jump in here, grab the meanest, nastiest gator I can find, pull him up on the sand and watch him rip my arm off, right? Yeah. Hey, why are you so loud over here? What's wrong with you guys? Listen, I'm not that brave or crazy, okay? But I do know someone who is. As you can just, as we just witnessed him do it, okay? So, listen, he needs a lot of encouragement to get himself back out here. So, what I want you guys to do right now is we gotta make a lot of noise, okay? So we have bleachers under our feet. I want you guys to start stomping your feet, guys. I want y'all to start clapping your hands, guys. And I want y'all to give up to the bravest guy I know. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to jump in the water right here. I'm going to make a huge splash. All the algae are going to swim to me, okay? Before they get to me, you've got to save me by jumping in the water behind that alligator. You're going to grab it by the tail, pull it up over the wall, get it on the X. When you get it to the X, I'll take over and do all the danger stuff, okay? <laughs> no, don't listen to mom. It's okay. Ready? On the count of three, I'm going that way, and you're going that way. You sure? You're a smart kid. How old are you? Y'all give Jane a huge round of applause. Awesome. Where, where are you guys from? Ohio. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. I used to live there. I'm just saying, okay, um, did, did she meet the alligator earlier? Did she sit? No? She's going to be the first one going. I'll pay for her after the show, all right? Y'all give Jane another round of applause. Okay, she got a good one. Can you solve them? Yeah, I got you. All righty, guys. We got about 10 to 12 alligators in here, right? size of about seven to eight feet. Now on a size like that, they can weigh anywhere between about 200 to 250 pounds. Now it may not seem like a lot of weight for you guys at home to have both legs, but you have to remember alligators are made up of like 90% muscle, and Ernie here, he's made up of like 90% butt leg, okay? It's really kind of fair, all right? All jokes aside, Ernie's a trained professional, he's been doing this for a while. Y'all pay very close attention to what Ernie does in this show, because what you learn from the show actually might help save your life today, okay? Keep going, a little bit. For example, we had a nine-year-old girl come to the show, and what she learned in the show actually helped save her life if she was attacked by an alligator. You can, you can, you can get out of here. All right. Woo, we got a volunteer here. She's pissed off. That's a good sign. Hi, Mama. How are you?
It hits you. It's going to hurt. It might remind some of us of our childhood. Bob Bell, the holy, more than likely it's going to rip, tear something off, and you'll never see it again. With all that being said, I am now going to attempt to show everybody the inside of this alligator's mouth. I stress the word try because, as you know, alligators got one of the strongest bite horses. She don't want her mouth open. There's not a lot I'm going to be able to do. I got a feeling she's in the mood to show us, though. Now, it's not about force. I'm going to let this alligator relax her bottom jaw here. There you go. So inside the mouth, there are 72 to 84 razor sharp teeth. These teeth are all designed for ripping and tearing, not grinding and crushing like ours. In the back of the throat, there is this pink flap of skin. It is called an epiglottis. I am not going to check and see if it's open or closed. Pretty much the elongated tongue, all right? This alligator grabs bread or water, it seals up the back of its throat, and it prevents water from crushing the back and drowning it. Awesome. Everybody got a good look in there, right? Why did y'all get quiet? You make me nervous. 
like you're waiting for something bad to happen. Now's your opportunity to do it, okay? 